Hey, how you doing? I'm Sean from Sonic Escape, and in today's Guide to Performing, I want to talk about how to memorize music. This is something that's so important to me because it played a really pivotal role in my own playing and my group, Sonic Escape. It really transformed our group from being one that interacted with each other and with the music to projecting our message way out into the audience so that we're interacting directly with them. It makes such a big difference and people get so much more involved in the music because you're literally removing one barrier and making yourself more open to that interaction, which I definitely encourage. So I'm going to go through just a few ideas that I have for how I memorize music in the hopes that it will help you. The first thing is play by memory as soon as you can, both on in your career, in your life, and then also with each individual piece you're learning. Play it as early as possible and go through it so that you're basically off book. Aim to do that within two or three days. So you get the music, read through it, read through it again, spend some hours at it. Try to hold yourself accountable. So once you've played a paragraph of music, let's call it, just go back and try to play it by memory. And you'll make many mistakes, totally fine. Do it again, fewer mistakes. And just bounce around doing different paragraphs of the music, and then you start connecting them. Build them together, and that's really what I recommend doing. And then start playing it in front of people before the performance. And so play it family members, friends, recording yourself in front of a mirror, and then the next step is just to start try to throw yourself off as much as you can. So try making eye contact with people, try moving around a little bit. Here's a little clip from Bach. The idea here is I just start moving like crazy. You can start in the middle of the piece and try to remember where you were. Change the articulations. Fast and slow. Do everything in advance to throw yourself off so that when you're at the concert performing it, whatever can go wrong has already gone wrong. And have the confidence people may not notice even if something goes wrong live. Um, and also another little trick, just play it through in your head without the instrument. So I'm holding it like this. I'm not using the keys if I am holding the instrument at all. It's better even just put it down and just go through the piece and try to not move your body or move your fingers or even close your eyes. Just try to do it straight through with your eyes open. I find that really helps. So that's it for now. Get out there and perform by memory and have fun doing it. I want to mention that since we're almost at the end of our series for this season one of Guide to Performing, please take a moment to like any of the videos that you liked and subscribe. And also, most importantly, ask any questions that we can address in future episodes. Thanks so much for being here and take care.